In Egypt, many people consider tattoos inappropriate, as most teachings of Islam consider it forbidden. It's acceptable for Coptic Egyptians, though. But Mark told us his family wasn't open to the idea at first. At the beginning, all people rejected tattoos. It was something strange to them. They say you are copying the West without understanding. I didn't really care what they thought. There will always be people objecting. I wanted to do something I like. I wanted to remind myself of something that I didn't want anyone else to know. So I coded it and made a tattoo of it. I then started understanding what tattoos are about and what each drawing means. I felt it suits my personality, it's something I like. Initial family misgivings aside, this is Mark's sixth tattoo, and he's not alone. Tattoo parlors are a booming business. My family knows that I, I love drawing and I love to take risks and stuff. So uh, when I said I, I'm, I'm going to start tattooing, they actually they were very supportive to the idea and um, they liked the, the thing that I'm going to do um, my own project uh, while I'm studying. first started uh, at my house, I was tattooing my friends, uh, my family and then um, I went to a beauty center, a famous beauty center and then I started working there like um, six months and then I opened my own shop. When she started her business four years ago she used to get six clients a week now they can get up to 10 a day. It's now a full-time business for Fadali and her partner Ahmed, but it only attracts a certain clientele. Most of my clients are A-class. Um, I barely got um, C or, or medium class. Um, the prices uh, depends on the design and the size. And because the, the equipment and the stuff of um, tattoos uh, are very expensive, and the ink and the needles are very expensive. That's why the, I guess the um, tattoos are a bit expensive. The rising trend in tattooing was not just evident by the number of clients visiting tattoo shops, but also in the trends and the style they choose. It started off with simple and small tattoos, usually drawn on parts of the body that could be easily concealed. But by the time, bigger tattoos and more complex have started to become trendy in Egypt, going on to half sleeves and drawing tattoos on parts of the body that can be easily seen by other people. But rising demand has led to many tattoo artists with limited skills. Fadali gets many clients that need poor tats cover up with a better ink designs. Adil Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.